Our next guest is uh, Ru uh, Arun Murthy, co-founder and archi chief architect of Hortonworks. Come on in the cube. All right, Arun, All right. how are you doing? Good to meet Fantastic. you, Fantastic. Great to see you again. I've seen you online, but Great Thanks for having me over. Yeah, well, thank you for taking uh -huh. some time. We've been talking about you guys all day and Great. asking all the hard questions. Hopefully good stuff. Yeah. So congratulations, guys, on, on a couple things. One, post Yahoo Summit, mm -hmm. the big announcement, big funding, cost a little, you know, ripples in the water. You guys are now established. You got a new COO on board. You guys are out doing a ton of activity, huge outreach to the marketplace, so congratulations. Thank you. So what's the feedback? I mean, you guys have very tight messaging, pure Apache all the time. What's, Queen, yep. how's, how's the, re what's, what's people saying? It's great, I mean, um, so we, you know, like we say, we're in the business of making Hadoop bigger and more popular and more used, more widely used. And our message about doing all of this in the open source is actually getting a lot of, uh, you know, traction in the market. And we're excited to be, you know, an independent company and doing it, um, you know, outside. You know, the one way of looking, one way of looking at it is, you know, we've done a lot of work at Yahoo. You know, we've done a lot of mistakes. We've fixed it up, and now we're outside and we're we have an opportunity to do a lot more work. You know, talk to a lot more people, and that's exciting. You know, so really we had exciting. some guests on earlier today. I forget who mentioned it. Mm -hmm. my, my brain gets a little mushy around this time, but we had a guest on earlier that said, you know, everyone knows each other in the open source community. Right. So it's not like. I mean, competition, Caldera is saying, hey, we're not, we don't really compete, and we're just moving forward, grow the market. I'm sure you guys probably say the same things, but you guys are, have to work together. The, the communities are tight. What's the dynamic in the community right now? So, you know, that's a great point, right? I mean, we have, uh, you know, we have our PR engines and we have marketing and so on, but at the end of the day, you know, we are both in the business of making Hadoop better, right? And to make Hadoop better, we have to cooperate, we have to coexist. And you know we have a great relationship with all the engineers. Uh, you know we work together. I mean, you, we have a lot of talks. For example, in in the Hadoop world itself, we can come by to t let's talk. You know, learn about some of the stuff we're doing with the next release of Hadoop, which is 023. And you know we work with a lot of the people. It's not just you know us and Cloud. There's Facebook. Yeah, there's tons LinkedIn. Of it's it's really exciting. I and mean, if you look at, you know, we've got more than. Um, a uh, few hundred active contributors to Hadoop at this point, which is you know phenomenal for an open source project. Well, you guys are the two leaders in terms of numbers when you go put the numbers on contributors. Clearly, open source has got a lot of uh, attraction. Still, a small community. Um, my question to you on the more of the f kind mm -hmm. of what's going on is high availability is a huge deal, right? You're hearing some of the talks here, mm -hmm. Node Name, and some other ones. You you guys are doing some your own talk. Um, you guys are looking at splitting up the resource manager and the job schedule. Can you just elaborate on what that means and share with the folks out there the what it means to the Apache code base and community and to for customers? Yeah. So first, let's talk about you know HA on the name note, right? It's it's been a hot button topic. You know, lots of people are interested. What name? The high availability on the HDFS name yeah, node. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're doing a lot of work and you know, jointly with the Cloudera folks, in fact, uh, you know, Suresh is one of the co-founders, is talking with Aaron from Cloudera, I'm doing a joint talk on HA. And there's uh, MapReduce itself, we're talking about the next generation of Hadoop. Um, in effect, we're taking Hadoop and making it a much more general data processing system. So far, uh, MapReduce was the only option you had when it came to processing data on Hadoop, right? So. That's, you know, that's great for a lot of things. I mean, I've done MapReduce for six years now. I love the framework, I love the idea, I love the paradigm. But there's also a lot of need in the enterprise for different things other than Hadoop. I mean, there's HPCC world, there is you know, simple M uh, MPI master worker kind of paradigms, which are really, really important for you know, putting out an application, a data application end to end. So the idea with uh, MapReduce next gen is that you can now process data in ways other than MapReduce. We still expect MapReduce to be the you know the very high majority of the applications, but we also see a lot of other Talk applications. about the NPI thing? Uh -huh. um, and because there's been a lot of, it's kind of more of a directional thing, but is that market ready, the HPC market ready for this kind of parallelism? Um, in, in a lot of ways, like I said, I mean, for example, one of the cases that we had at Yahoo was, you know, MPI is still the right way to, you know, do a small, you know, subset of the applications, right? So now, people, uh, it was hard to, get a Hadoop cluster and an MPI cluster, right? So what people used to do was take MapReduce applications and kind of um, retrofit MPI on top of the MapReduce paradigm, right? Mm -hmm. So the idea with NextGen is you can now do it as an independent project, as you know, as a project which is sitting in the same Hadoop cluster, you don't go buy another you know, MPI cluster, you buy the same Hadoop care, you manage it in the same way, you deploy it in the same way, you operate it in the same way, but then you can 
process data in different ways. And we want to give people the option to process it in the best way possible, right? And that's the idea with next-gen So the, the benefit there is flexibility, yeah. uh, simplifies things. Exactly, yeah. so it's one compute framework, right? So you don't, you don't have to manage two different sets of frameworks, you don't have two operations teams, and you know, the whole uh, overall cost of ownership comes down significantly because you know, it's just one framework, and that's actually very exciting for us. So but high availability is a path to that. So we don't, right? yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, we're it's the first step, I mean, yeah. you know, one node goes down. Yeah. So, we're, so in NextGen, we're also doing the high availability for the resource manager. So when you deploy the NextGen resource manager, um, there's, uh, you, the resource manager itself is going to be high available. So if something happens to it, you quickly come up and you know, the applications continue to run. And you know, as as the, as the application, you don't see a difference when the when there's an issue with the resource. We, we management. heard at Oracle Open World, we had the cube there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, cube goes the most important tech as well, as you know. Yeah. Uh, but Larry Ellison just couldn't stop using the word parallelism. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of where it's going. At the end of the day, it's system. Yeah. Software. It's software. You guys are putting together software. Yeah. Use commodity machines or gear. What's your vision on that? How far away are we on that? I mean, what is it happening now? To what levels? You know, so, I mean, in a lot of ways, Hadoop is fairly young technology, right? So what we are focused, uh, you know, at Hardenworks and, the, and as the developer community, is to take Hadoop to its kind of, you know, full vision, where you can then, you can store, you know, our stated goal as a company is you have half the world's data on Hadoop, right? Now, having data is great, but you also want to process it, you want to get insights from it, and you want to do it in a, in a simple manner, an efficient manner, and a cheap manner, right? So, we as a company think, you know, in about, Whatever it's going to take some time frame, and you know Hadoop is still young. There's a lot of you know, lots of you know uh, new grounds to cover, but you know we want to get to a point where you know half, if not more, of the 2015, data. I think Eric says. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good number. It's, it's like a good moon shot, right? Yeah, uh, it's a moon shot. Moon so talk shot. about your support experiences. I mean, obviously that's a key value proposition you're offering your mm -hmm. customers. Yeah. Um, how many customers do you have? Can you talk about that or not? You know, we got at least one, right? More, more than one, like <laughs> Yahoo, right? Yeah. That's a pretty big one. One big one. But one. Are they an outlier, though? I mean, that's a big, pretty big deployment. I mean, you have a management contract as part of the deal, right? Yeah. And yeah. You guys moved out. Well, do you, and you do you have more than one? Uh, yes. Okay. I mean, it's something I, I, <laughs> less than ten <laughs> thousand. Um, but but again, um, you know, our our idea is that we can get a lot of other people. I mean, I, I think I went to you know. Um, the JP Morgan talk where you know people talked about how using Hadoop they're now f spending more on legacy infrastructure on ETL and so on because they they finally have an opportunity to exploit data they didn't have with Hadoop right so we see uh, we see this as growing the whole pie for the whole market and as a result we'll, we hope to see a lot more Yahoo's a lot more face I mean look at eBay right um, eBay a couple of years ago was nowhere on the map. At this point, they're one of the largest Hadoop installs in the world. I mean, they're not as big as Yahoo yeah, or Facebook, yeah. but they're getting close, right? And that's exciting, and we hope to see more and more. And we're seeing a lot more, actually. I mean, yeah, I mean, we heard from Kirk Dunn who mentioned that, you know, you know it's the disruptive marketplace right. when the people that you need to hire don't exist, exactly. right? So like, the data science movement, we're gonna Absolutely. have Hammerbacher on later today, yeah. hopefully. Um, you know, when you go out to those, like the JP Morgans, because it, you know, it, the clear thing is that everyone's agreeing on is yes. it's moved out of the web, okay? Exactly. It's now mainstream, you're seeing financial services, government, healthcare, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. The list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. When you go out to those environments, they don't have the guy right. to support it, yeah. right? So it's like, they got maybe someone who's a thought leader, yeah. geek, alpha geek goes in there, spins it up, runs a five node free, right. yeah. gets and plays with it and goes, boss, we can do some shit with this. Uh -huh. Excuse my language. Yeah. <laughs> and then they go, okay, uh, here's some cash. Right. And he can't hire anyone. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys get the call, or Cloudera gets the call. How do you support that environment? So um, it's so we're and leaning. And then how do you support the JP Morgans of the world? So we're 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 leaning we're leaning very heavily on our experience, right? So for example, I was the guy um, who was responsible for all of MapReduce as a service for Yahoo, right? Which meant fifty thousand machines running MapReduce. If anything went down, um, you know, we had you know level one, level two, level three. But at the end of the day, if you finally had you know one person to call at three in the morning, that would be me. Right, so it's, <laughs> it's it's great experience. It's great learning. What that means is we take that learning and we translate it into the framework. Right, we translate it into the framework so the framework itself becomes better. And if you look at you know 
uh, I can't unfortunately share stats, but you know, if you look at the number of support tickets we have for Yahoo, and it's dramatically different from what it was a couple of years ago at this point, right? Which means what has happened is we've gotten better at taking the software and making it you know, much more reliable, much more multi-tenant, that's a big deal. I mean, JP Morgan talked about this too, right? Like you said, the way this starts off is you'll have two or three alpha geeks you know, running five nodes and 10 node clusters. At the end of the day, you don't want to be running lots of 10 node clusters. You want to be running a thousand node cluster. And if you run a thousand node cluster, the challenges are very different, particularly in terms of multi-tenancy, right? Because you want to be able to, lots of people sharing one cluster is very different from one, to one or two people sharing a cluster, right? And that's one of the biggest um, you know, learning curves we've had as a team in the last uh, you know, couple of years. And we've translated a lot of that into the, you know, the release, which is the 205, which has come out recently. And with 203, the whole 2XX series is you know, um, the work we've distilled into the learnings we've made from multi-tenancy, which is something we'll see more and more of. And we're excited to see more and more. And you know, JP Morgan was a great example of that. So Arun, I mean, you've obviously got a lot of experience. You've got, you know, you've, experience with the largest to do uh, uh, instance in the world. You've made tremendous contributions to the open source community. You've created a lot of value. Mm -hmm. Great, I get that. Why does the world, if you could explain to us, why does the world need Hortonworks and the, and the Hortonworks data platform? So, so the primary thing is, um, you know, as with any open source software, you're, at the end of the day, you, you want to be able to call on the people with the most amount of expertise in the system. And you, you gain, del in, in, as with you know, any open source project, you gain credibility or street cred by you know, being in the system, um, contributing patches, whether it's bug fixes or new features or whatever. And we feel like we have a lot of experience, uh, a rich history doing that. Um, not just in Hadoop, but you know, lots of other projects like Fig and you know, we're starting with Hive and, and Edgebase and so on, right? So as a result, that plus the experience we've had of being, you know, I mean, we talked to a lot of customers and you know, they're excited to be talk working with us because you know, they know that we've been there and we've supported the you know, five, six, 10,000 node cluster. And they, as they see them going, themselves from going from 200 to 1,000 yeah, to 5,000. They get a free product exactly. and they pay for support, unlike right. Cloudera, which they pay for the management, management piece. Yeah, and you know, our story has been all open source. You know, we're working on you know, open source uh, management software. It's Ambari, we've got some of our best people working on it. I mean, Owen, um, is probably one of the leading contributors to Hadoop. He's been, you know, you know, working I mean, so on So Cloudera can have their own proprietary thing all day, all day long, as long as it's different from the management piece that it's going to be free. Yeah, but right? uh, right? and mean, again, we, I mean, we, they're only as good as what the alternative is, which is free. Right? And and again, also, you know, we're also very focused on making sure we work with them on the core, right? I mean, none yeah. of us are going to be in business for very long if the core doesn't improve at a fast enough clip with fast enough features and fast enough bug fixes and so on. So as a result, we're in this you know, cooperation thing, if you will, where we're focused on making the core yeah. much significantly better, not just for, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's clear to me that there's no war in the open source community. There's right. total love going on, because rising tide is floating all boats. Yeah, exactly. It's just difference of philosophy right. with right. the business model. Yeah. Sure, you're going to come out, you're doing Ambari, and it's going to be competitive with Cloudera's management suite, where's the, where are they make all their money. So it's, it's, it's <laughs> essentially your answer is, the world needs to be more open. Right, right. right? Yeah. The world needs is to be more open. Well, it's simply a free management console, and the Cloudera has to keep their unique differentiator valuable enough that people would pay for it. And also, the other thing we've focused on is making sure, you know, at every layer of the stack, we're focused on having not just, you know, the software is free, but open APIs, right? So, you know, different system integrators can integrate with the APIs at every level in the right, you know, the best possible manner. And that's something we're focused on in terms of the, the API story. So you can actually take you know, your existing tools and, you know, you know, and get them to work with Hadoop at every layer in the stack. That's what's, the what's the status of the management console right now? So we have you know, an alpha-ish product. It's um, right now in Apache Incubator. I mean, you can go to Incubator at this point, download the code, play with it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we've got an alpha version of it. You know, uh, a pre-alpha version, if you will, as part of HTTP1, the Hardenworks Data Platform 1. So you can use it to install Hadoop in the whole stack. Uh, it does RPMs and all of that. Um, we're, we're working on monitoring and so on. Um, we hope to have that in our by the time we get to GA early next year. All right, Arun, congratulations on all your success. It's fun to watch. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, the press, I think GigaOM kind of went over the top with, uh, you know, the whole Civil War post, and I think we had some similar headlines ourselves. Uh, it's totally great on the PR. You guys are pumping up the, the volume, turning on the megaphone, which is kind of benchmark kind of strategy. We kind of watch what they do over the years. Um, good backers. 
yeah. congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, and thanks we've been, for we've thanks been trying to get in to see you guys. So yeah. we've been super busy with uh, the events last last yeah. week and so on. Yeah. So. so again, thanks for having us here. We're yeah. excited to be Great. part of uh, you know Hadoop, and we've been there for a while, and we hope to be here for a long while. Final question uh, um, before you leave: Now that you're out of the big company, Yahoo, okay, you're the founder, co-founder mm -hmm. of the company. What's it like? Share with the other entrepreneurs out there. What kind of roller coaster has it been? Oh, it's been, you know, it's been complete. I mean, we thought Yahoo was, you know, being part of the Hadoop team at Yahoo was crazy, but we took from, you know, a toy project to running at 50,000 nodes, and, you know, pretty much uh, lots of the dollars Yahoo made was running through Hadoop. And we thought that was bad enough, and this is like completely <laughs> insane. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> it's much <laughs> It's fun. It's a roller coaster, though, oh, right? It's I mean, absolutely. It's, would you agree it's a roller coaster? Oh, completely. Highs and lows? Yeah, I mean, we've, yeah. we've talked to a lot of people outside, you know, you know, the ability to be outside, you know, yeah. talking to people and, you know, not just at Yahoo, lots of other folks, you know, in Wall Street and so on. It's exciting and, you know, it helps us take our vision for Hadoop and make it real. And we kind of see it make, becoming real. And so that's, you know, as a technology geek, that's really exciting for me. Do you find that, like, as, as a, in a startup, it's like a Yahoo, little elves took care of things? And, like, yeah. you know, now it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> who's getting the lunch? Wait yeah. a minute, where's the cafeteria? It was like, funny, you right? Yourself, right? <laughs> the first week we were trying to, you know, break down cubes, yeah. um, you know, trying to figure out what is our, you know, buck tracking system, where's our, where do we store our code base? It was, you know, completely different, right? You guys are doing great, yeah. and uh, congratulations. We keep progress. And Absolutely. We'll, we'll be watching. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for coming on the queue. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Okay.